There's been no let-up in the war of words in the post-Brexit fishing dispute between the UK and France. Paris is vowing retaliatory action on trade from tomorrow unless French fishing boats are granted more permits. Jersey's government, responsible for managing France's fishing licences, has accused it of seeking to bully the island's energy supply. And the UK says it's ready to take legal action against Paris, the Foreign Secretary saying London won't roll over in the face of French threats. The French have made completely unreasonable threats, including to the Channel Islands and to our fishing industry, and they need to withdraw those threats. And if somebody behaves unfairly in a trade deal, you are entitled to take action against them and seek some compensatory measures. And that is what we will do if the French don't back down. Well, let's look more closely at each side's stance in the row and where this could lead. We're joined by Steve Pears, Professor of Trade Law and EU Law at the University of Essex. Uh, thanks very much for joining us on uh, Euronews tonight. Um, I'm reading that um, Jersey may have issued some more licences to French boats, but basically both sides are saying they're right under the law. The UK is saying it's entitled under the trade deal uh, it's allocated, what it's allocated is completely in line with the trade deal. France says it's entitled to more licences. Uh, who's right? Well, because it's a new deal, it's not obvious who's right. There's obviously no prior decisions of arbitrators or courts that we could look at here. So uh, what, this might be the first case that gets decided by arbitrators. So it could be argued both ways. I mean, the UK can say, well, you need to show us evidence and you haven't done it that. Uh, done that to show you used to fish here. And the French are saying, well, you know, your requirements as for evidence are, are too stringent. Since the treaty is vague about it, it really would be up to the arbitrators to decide how much evidence you actually need to show. And what do you make of each side's threat of retaliatory action? We've got France uh, saying it's going to increase checks at ports and perhaps bar access altogether. Uh, the UK vowing to take legal action unless France withdraws those threats. Uh, what do you make of those? Well, it's not clear that France can do what it plans to do outside the, um, the, uh, the actual Brexit deal. It, it's also requesting the Commission to act, and that, that is definitely something the Commission could do, although it seems to be a bit slow about reacting. Uh, as far as the UK is concerned, yes, it can go to arbitration. I don't know if it can arbitrate just about the threats, but uh, the Brexit secretary said last week, Lord Frost, he'll act if the French put their threats into effect. And that, that does make more sense. That is something you could then challenge. And uh, the UK might have a reasonable case, but I, I don't think um, it's necessarily obvious that they'd win uh, against either the French or if the EU acted against the EU. And what do you make of the political dimension? It's blown up into a huge war of words for a start. Could this further damage the wider EU-UK uh, relations? Yes, it could. I mean, especially because they're at a sort of vulnerable phase with what is, I think, obviously a much bigger issue in terms of the Northern Ireland Protocol and whether they get suspended or renegotiated and how exactly that, that plays out. We're comparing that to a handful of small fishing boats in one small part of the overall uh, fishing zone between uh, the UK and the EU. So in theory, this ought to be something we could sort out. It's a tiny part of the economy. There's a few dozen people and ships involved. Uh, surely that should be something sensible people should sort out. But you never know. You know uh, conflicts aren't always reasonable. Um, there's been a certain comment that people, that both sides are playing to their uh, domestic galleries in this. If I can throw another political question to you, um, is this, be, is this uh, further damaging uh, this, to this dispute? Yes, I mean, I, I, you know, the UK sent a ship to Jersey at an earlier phase, about the same day as the local elections in Britain. Uh, and the, uh, for their part, of course, the French government has parliamentary presidential elections next year. So these uh, might be you know, useful to both of them uh, from, from that point of view um, to at least show that they're tough. And maybe the solution is that both of them can somehow find a way to do a deal, but both say that they won. And I can see a way that could pan out and uh, maybe that uh, will resolve this particular issue. And then we move back to the Northern Ireland issue, which I think is, is much more uh, difficult to solve and much more important. Professor Steve Pears from the University of Essex, thanks very much for joining us on Euronews tonight.